and well welcome back to a very belated video very belated it has been some time since i have done a video probably over two months since i have done one if you've watched our last couple of videos you will know that myself and jamie are expecting our first child and I am now currently 34 weeks and 4 days pregnant so I only have like a few weeks left to go if that depending on when he wants to give up staying in there and come out here um, but yes so again apologies for not doing um, a video things have been really really tough things have been hard with doing 12 hour shifts it always seems to be the 12 hour shifts that stops me doing these videos but as i say it's always in these videos this is just like a hobby for me um and i just kind of do the videos like as and when um you like it really um so i had basically worked right up until last week so it would have been 33 weeks and I was doing the three 12 hour shifts a week and it was really really difficult so I have stopped work now I've got three weeks of annual leave which my first week is almost done and then I go on to my maternity leave um, and start that so I wanted to just kind of jump on and do a kind of catch up um, and let you guys know how the ladies have been um, because it has been some time since obviously you guys have seen the girls as well as obviously I've not been posting that much on Instagram, Facebook, you know the kind of usual social media sites that we use. I've not posted as much and again it's just kind of been to the way I've been feeling um, but I do really really want to get back into it I kind of get into these kind of spurts of yeah I want to get back into it and then it kind of fizzes out and then I kind of get back into it again so I do want to get back into it and get um, the videos back up and running um, there's just not a great deal that's been happening um, the girls today are actually getting a groom they have like five months worth of hair and I'll show you them just shortly um, but they have five months worth of growth <laughs> and they are very badly needing a, a haircut. They were supposed to get a haircut on Monday. My mum had booked an appointment on Monday um, for them to get done however we got them all hooked up ready to go. It took me all my time to get out the house. I wasn't having a good morning that morning and we took them all the way to the groomers and they said no it's tomorrow you're due and i you like the tuesday and my mum's like that no i work on a tuesday so i would never book it for a tuesday but the problem is that they had the blow dryers on in the background they probably didn't pick up my mum right and booked it for the tuesday instead of the monday um so we they could have got done on the monday but they were fully booked they wouldn't have been done, they would have been left in a cage all afternoon, all morning and most of the afternoon and then it would have been a rush job and I'm like, I'm not having my girls rushed because this is going to be the groom that lasts them a long time. Um, I want them cut as short as possible. Um, so I just says to them, I don't want it being a rushed job because things get missed. And then it's going to have to be going back to take them to fix the bits and I'm not having that so I just want a good proper cut so they're due in today at 11 and um, they are going to get the chop. Now Misty as well, where's my face wipes? Misty is getting a groom as well. Basically the three of them are getting done at the same time, we always try and book it so that the three of them get done but my mum sometimes books Misty in kind of in between when I get my two done so it just depends how long I 
time to grow them. But I thought the longer I keep it to near a baby's due date, then you know the shorter they're going to be for when I'm off basically. Um, probably not the right day to get them groomed because it's like 7 degrees Celsius outside and it is like really really cold. Um, but I need to look out their jumpers, their jumpers are up the loft. I'll need to get Jamie to look them out later and um, they can wear jumpers and obviously they've got their wee coats as well um, and it's, we're getting into that season now where we probably should bring them down anyway. Where I'm going to put them I have no idea, <laughs> that's another story. Um, we've had so many issues with their eating, it's been unreal if you follow us on social media I have posted that already. Um, but so many issues with their eating, um, so I'll probably talk about that. Um, but this vlog will probably be a hit and a miss um, and I don't know how long it's going to be, I don't know what it's going to have in it, I don't know if, it, I think it just depends how I feel today because I'm dead like out of breath um, and I've not had a good last couple of days so I'll see how I get on and see how I feel and if it goes over a few days then it goes over a few days um, I will get it uploaded and posted um, but yes so I'm going to go and brush the girls now that I am ready um, and my mum will be here just shortly needs to brush the girls so that I get the mats out of the tashes so they don't cut the tash um, and um, get that done before my mum comes okay so I thought I'll just show you the girls um, quickly because I didn't realise the time my mum will be here very shortly and I'll probably still be brushing them um, when my mum comes so this is <laughs> these this is the girls just now before they're cut and before a brush pixie we're going for a haircut oh my goodness look at your curly hair Look at your curly hair. We need to go and get your tash brushed because we don't want them to snip that. And I've already cut the top of their hair because it was like literally in their eyes. So the top of their head's already been cut, otherwise it would have been the length that's like behind here. Um, but I just done that myself. Mm? Going for, oh, you don't look impressed. Are we going for a haircut? Just as well, look at you. My goodness. Roxy. This one's just as bad. Look at this growth. Hello. Are we going for a haircut? Now, you all know that um, I cut up here in their eyes um, before I take them to the groomers. Um, and I do pixie as well so I've cut all up in there Roxy's just looks a bit tidier because she actually lets me let me see she lets me cut her top lip um, so I can get the hair away from there whereas um, this one as you can see does not because you're a grump yes you're a grump so plenty of hair I'll basically be getting my money's worth today um, it's £90 for me to get both of them cut um, and that is a lot of money um, for some people. So basically what um, I do is I grow them out as much as I can basically to get my money's worth um, because I hate, I grudge paying like £90 for just like hardly anything. Um, so that's why I leave it so long. But yes, let's go and get them brushed. Okay you guys, that was a total fail. It is the next day. By the time I came home last night, it was like tea time and obviously Jamie was home and we were knee deep into obviously doing stuff around the house and things like that. So basically it's the next day and the girls have been groomed. Their cut is just so good. It's so nice to see them short again. It's different, um, but I'm just not used to them being like this short from long hair like I don't get them cut often enough to see them but I thought I would let you guys see what the girls obviously look like they were very grumpy with me yesterday after obviously getting their their groom and um, they didn't really speak to me after that because I'd obviously shaved all their warm hair um, 
obviously got all their hair shaved off them and um, but they're very short i wanted them short because obviously i want this one to last so here are the girls pixie hello is you showing everybody your haircut look at your haircut look, look. <laughs> yeah and where's your tail where's your tail oh my goodness look at your wee tail has you got a wee tail are we going to go out in the garden are we going to go out in the garden mm -hmm. give me a minute and what about you oh my look at you yes come here Good girl. You want to go in the garden? Hmm? We go in the garden? Yes. Okay, so that is the girls groom. They look absolutely gorgeous. I love how their hair is so short. I'm not really going to have like much hair lying around because um, we often find because they were long coat and they're in that we're in that season now where the hair starts to obviously come out when you brush them and it just mats so thank goodness we've obviously got rid of all of that but I thought I would share with you guys um just to kind of catch up on how they've been because the last video obviously was I think the cystitis video that um, Pixie had obviously um, and I've not really done any kind of updates since then. You know on social media we've obviously had problems with um, their eating. Now Pixie in particular has been very fussy with her eating. Um, Roxy on the other hand um, she was okay for a bit of time and then all of a sudden she stopped eating and I know when she stops eating something is not right um, because she basically eats absolutely everything. So their health is fine, they're all alright and um, basically we've been on a few different brands, I'm not going to obviously get into that, um, I'm just going to kind of talk about the brand that they are on just now which you um, will have seen a video for before we done a video for this brand. I basically got like a whole load of the food in and done a video on it. Um, so it's the Nature's Menu True Instinct Raw Boost. And this is it here. Now, we were on this food. You're going to excuse me because I get to do a breathe. Um, they were on this food prior to them going off the food so they went off this one and then that's when obviously they started to try other things and um, to try and get them to eat but we decided to go back onto it and I gave up the ghost because I'm getting to the stage now where I'm fed up trying different ways of them trying to eat different foods obviously because that's not good for their their body and I understand that um but I was just so fed up and I'm like oh, I know if I add a wee bit of wet meat they're going to eat it and I just want them to eat like I'm at the stage now where I just need them to eat it's the wrong time obviously we've got a baby coming on the way next month and I just need them to eat I can't be fussing about trying this that and t'other wasting money on food I cannot do that so what I've done is um, obviously me and Jamie have decided that we're going to add just a wee bit of wet meat into the food just to kind of taste the biscuits so that they're a bit stronger and I knew fine well once we done that they were going to eat and right enough they are scoffing every single meal and it's just so good to actually see them eat a meal again. So they get about 45 grams of this per meal, they get fed twice a day. So that's got the wee biscuits and then the wee freeze dried raw meat bits in it. And then what I done was the wet meat, Jamie got a box of pouches. Now. We've tried wet meat before when we were on Lily's kitchen and they absolutely loved it. 
and the only reason why we took it off was because I was having to order it online and it was um, quite costly to do that and because it was Lily's kitchen. So now we are trying the Nature's Main YouTube Instinct Premium Shredded Meat Fillets and this is just basically, this is a small breed one. This wet meat wasn't out when I done my review video on this food when this whole brand kind of came about. So this is it here. So this is a small breed. And basically it is um, high meat steam cooked. Complete and balanced, 100% natural ingredients and vitamins and minerals. Um, and this is a variety pack. I says to Jamie basically because it was a choice of the dry food between free range chicken or turkey and duck. And I thought, well, if we're getting different flavour sashes, maybe just stick with the chicken so that we're not mixing too many flavours together to begin with. So we decided to get the chicken dry and then obviously the variety pack of the wet meat just to see how the girls go on with it, you know, and what kind of flavours they tend to like the best, whether or not we keep to the variety wet meat or what, I don't know, but we're just kind of trialling it to see. And basically, once a sachet is opened, it can last two days in your refrigerator. Um, so what I do is I open a sachet and I put it into a tub. I kind of mash it all up um, and obviously get, they get like a teaspoonful a meal. That gets mashed in around their biscuits basically. Um, and it's just enough to coat the biscuits. It's like some of the biscuits don't even get coated but it's just enough just to give it that wee extra boost for them. And you know, the first time we done it, it was like the, the dinner was gone within like, not even like two minutes. Um, so these are the sashes here. So this is the chicken. So in this box, we get two free range chicken and vegetables, two with Scandinavian salmon and vegetables, two with tender turkey and vegetables, and two with grass fed beef and vegetables. We've tried the chicken, which is this one here. And it's 150 grams per sachet. Um, and obviously it is steam cooked. So it's a bit like kind of shredded meat when you obviously mince it up. It's a bit like shredded meat. It's not a wet meat that's like got gravy added into it. And it's very mushy. It's very smelly. It's, it's none of that at all. I mean, I was quite surprised when I opened up the the sachet there was just a tiny tiny wee bit of jelly on the top and that's it the rest is like just meat and that is like really good aim um, to me because obviously you don't want something that's like coated in gravy or you know and it's all mushy and it sticks to their tash and i thought because they were long hair when obviously we tried this that they were going to have smelly moustaches because of the wet meat but I was quite surprised they didn't. The meat doesn't actually smell that bad. You don't have that strong smell of uh, meat. So this obviously has like carrots and peas in it. Um, they're 150 gram sachets and so in this you have chicken 50% including 26% fillets and 19 free range chicken. You've got carrots, peas, it's made with salmon oil, um, it's got dried kelp in it, chicory root, dried rosemary and that's it. Like literally that is it. So it is probably the healthier option. Um, so we've not tried the salmon yet. We've only tried the beef one and the chicken. So that's the two that we've tried. We're on the beef one just now just to see how the girls got on with it. I don't usually give the girls beef so I'm a wee bit kind of not sure about that one. But they seem to be handling it. Touchwood so far, so good. And then we've got tender turkey. But again, the one with the tender turkey is that it's not just turkey. Like it says turkey on the front. But it's also got chicken in it. So for the likes of my mum, if she was to give this, she couldn't give it because it's actually got chicken in it. Like, I wish they would just say chicken and turkey instead of just turkey because that is not all turkey. That's the only thing. That's the only problem I find with these things is when a brand says turkey 
it's not just turkey you've obviously got chicken as well um so that is them so we're going to see how we got on with them we've been on it for a few days now and we'll just see how that goes but i will link the video to my whole review with this whole brand obviously down below in the description box or i'll obviously leave it um at the end of this video um, for you guys to click on if you want to go over and take a wee look it was done quite a while ago um, but yeah that is really it I think for this video I'm going to um, obviously go and get some housework done or at least try because I'm having to do wee bits at a time because I'm absolutely knackered um, and I obviously find it difficult to do things but thank you very much you guys for watching sorry it has been such a long time since I've done a video give us a thumbs up if you like this video leave us a comment and as always please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video bye guys